Hello everyone. Now we are going to see the location of instantaneous center. Already we have seen what is the instantaneous center. This is link one and link two. We are joining with the help of the pin joint. Now when we join two link with the help of the pin joint, at that particular point the instantaneous center it will lie. and the instantaneous center we are denoting it by letter i as it is formed from link 1 and link 2 so we will write instantaneous center 1 2 always we write the naming in increasing order 1 2 not 2 1 now when we join the link 1 and the link 2 here is the rolling pair so this Link two it rolls over the link one. When such condition occurs, at that time, the instantaneous center it will lie at the point of contact of these two link. So again, link one and link two. So here point of contact. So instantaneous center one two it will lie here. Now, when we join the two link, link one it is a straight one, and the link two when it is moving on this straight. link 1 at that time the instantaneous center exists at infinite distance now we'll see suppose this is an circle and if we consider a small distance on this circle having known radius so even though it is known radius but here we see that it is a straight line but as you go on increasing this radius these two line it looks like a parallel line and here the instantaneous center what this part if the body is moving here so it is moving about this common center so that we can call the instantaneous center so as you go on increasing the distance this will look like a straight line so see here again it is a straight line this is the radius again which is of known length but if it is infinite length then it nearly looks like a straight line so in case of this the instantaneous center it will lie at infinite distance now when we join the two link one is having curvilinear path and another one it is moving on this the instantaneous center formed by the link 1 and the link 2 here you will get where the center of this curvilinear path is here so here you will get the instantaneous center if the link 1 is circular one and link 2 is moving on this and the instantaneous center formed by this link 1 and link 2 it exists at the center of this link 1 so these are the location or possible condition where the particular instantaneous center it will lie that we had seen now we will see what are the different types of instantaneous centers now here is one four bar mechanism this is bar 1 bar 2 bar 3 and bar 4 or even we can call it as a link 1 link 2 link 3 and the link 4 due to this there are different instantaneous center it is formed if you see this instantaneous center 1 2 formed by this link 1 and link 2 with the help of the pin joint link 2 and link 3 due to this another instantaneous center it formed it is instantaneous center 2 3 instantaneous center 3 4 it is formed by link 3 and the link 4 instantaneous center 1 4 it is formed by link 1 and the 4 again see here 1 4 it is in increasing order and instantaneous center 1 3 and instantaneous center 2 4 these are the few instantaneous centers so we will see what are the different types of instantaneous center now first the fix the instantaneous center when we say the fixed instantaneous center whatever the instantaneous center we had seen out of this few are the fixed instantaneous center the instantaneous center 1 2 and instantaneous center 1 4 these two instantaneous center we can call it as a fixed instantaneous center because this link is fixed and these two instantaneous center its position never change that's why we can call these two as a fixed instantaneous center now second the permanent instantaneous center 
instantaneous center 2 3 and instantaneous center 3 4 we can call it as a permanent instantaneous center even though these two changes its position according to the motion of this link 2 or link 4 but the joint of this link 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 are the permanent that's why we can call these two are permanent instantaneous center and the third one neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous center so here the instantaneous center 1 3 and instantaneous center 2 4 we can call the neither fixed nor permanent joint because there is no direct contact of this two link and its position it will continuously change that's why you can call it as a neither fixed and the nor permanent so these are the basically three different types of instantaneous center